Hi, I'm Mike Kieran. I'm part of the FlashRay marketing team here at Pure Storage. Today, we're going to be looking at some innovations in the area of QLC Flash, as well as some new work in Kubernetes and VMware. So to start, I'll give you a brief overview of our agenda. I'll begin with a quick 10 minute summary of some of the market dynamics that are going on in the flash arena right now. And I know the storage field day audience, you tend to be pretty technical and not want to get too much into the marketing nonsense. So I'll keep that part really brief, mostly looking at how the positioning and use cases have expanded as a result of the new QLC based all flash, uh, flash ray C will be showing you. Then we'll go into the uh, technical part with uh, Pete Kirkpatrick, our uh, architect for Flash Array, after which we'll have a Q&A, and then we'll move into the second part of today's session, where Cody and John from our cloud group will show you the latest work they've done on hybrid cloud Kubernetes and VM and vSphere. So here's uh, a quick overview. I want to just briefly uh, highlight how the entire Flash Array and FlashBlade uh, portfolio addresses specific customer concerns. We start here with the lowest latency workloads that need the fastest response. These are your tier one apps and databases. These are the applications that are typically run on a Flash Array X. Then we have the unstructured file and object uh, workloads. Those are the Flash, Flash Blade type workloads. And what we're going to be focusing on today is the expanded market for Flash Array C, and in particular, how Flash Array C and Flash Array X together provide a complete solution for our customers. You've uh, attended previous storage field days. You know that uh, in the past decade, Pure has essentially revolutionized the data storage industry through innovations in Flash. We start that with the customers, the customers and their use cases. And these are the key workloads that we see them running, SAP, Oracle, Kubernetes, VMware, and of course the new cloud-based hyperscale applications. Flash Array supports those through a rich technology platform that includes industry-leading data duplication, snap lock, snapshots, uh, encryption, and of course support for the widest range of storage protocols. These contribute to what we call the modern data experience, accelerating your core applications, enabling multi-cloud, and of course, the leading uh, data protection in the industry today. What's really crucial for our customers, of course, is fast access to their data. And at the high end, we're doing that with direct flash, and we're able to achieve latencies under uh, two to four um, microseconds with extremely uh, high data services provided uh, uh, to the customers. And where we're really seeing Flash uh, shift the behavior of our customers is in this application consolidation I'll be talking about. Consolidating workloads is one of the most effective ways that IT shops can increase their efficiency and simplify their operations. And then, of course, there's Evergreen. This is a program that virtually all of Pure's competitors have tried to imitate in the past few years, but because their architectures don't support truly non-destructive upgrades, they always come up short. And we'll look at that a little bit later in more detail. So today I'm going to focus on three things. The new product announcements we have with the all QLC Flasher AC. I'll talk about some new use cases, in particular workload consolidation. And then I'll finish with a brief reference to the new economics of QLC-based Flash. So the announcement, I'll let Pete give you all the details, but today we are shipping the industry's first all QLC, all Flash storage arrays. What this enables us to do is go to the customers with a complete solution for all of those workloads they have, whether they're block or file, or if they're actually unified, running both types of storage protocols, file and block, NAS and SAM at the same time on the same flash arrays. And we can see those workloads. The big ones are apps and VMs, data protection, disaster recovery, and on the file side, user file shares. This is something enabled in Purity 6.0 with SMB and NMS support. 
So what are these uh, use cases? Well, the big one is really workload consolidation. And to understand this, I think we have to look at the competitive situation, not in terms of what is going on inside the flash chips that QLC improves the economics for, but rather from the customer's point of view, there are two main kinds of workloads they need to run. They need performance sensitive workloads, those that need low latency, and they have capacity oriented workloads. And part of our uh, up leveling of the message today is that with all QLC flash array C, we've now provided an ideal way for those customers to consolidate those workloads. The beauty of this is regardless of whether a workload is performance or capacity oriented, because Flash Array X and Flash Array Seal C are unified in the purity operating system, the ease of use, the simplicity is just a huge, huge leap forward for our customers. Why is workload consolidation so important? Because today the number of so-called business critical workloads has gone from one to 10 to 50 to more than hundred in some cases in some organizations. And yet they're running those workloads on complex storage systems from multiple vendors that have been hobbled together over the years. Meanwhile, IT is moving to everything as a service and has a mandate to do more with less. Workload consolidation is just perfect because now all of those different applications can be managed from a single pane of glass with all the benefits of uh, global data duplication and all of the other benefits of uh, data protection and so on that are built into Purity. So beyond those big new workloads, what are the other workloads we address? Well, these are the ones we talked to you about last September when Flash Array C was first announced and they're still valid. Policy-based VM tiering, disaster recovery, multi-cloud test and dev, consolidating snapshots. But now you'll see that we have a bigger picture where we're bringing together Flash Array X and Flash Array C so that the customer can decide in real time which applications need that extra performance and which ones are more cost-effectively handled on the Flash Array C platform. So my final point then is to talk about what is the uh, economic impact of this. We won't be discussing pricing today, we'll take that conversation offline, but it's safe to say that because Pure has been able to leverage QLC Flash, we're able to drive down the cost of capacity storage in a way that's really gonna shake up the marketplace. And remember, I came from Nimble Storage. I'm well aware of the benefits of hybrid storage, but really those days are over. Because now Flash Array C with QLC dies enables us to get down close to the original acquisition cost of hybrid arrays. And of course, when you then figure in the total cost of ownership with data duplication and all the data services on top, it's clear that Flash Array C offers a better total cost of ownership than anything that hybrid or disk can offer. 